We're all about the danger, aren't we? You'd be right. It doesn't make sense. Get there. Sit. Wow, that's gonna work out okay. Welcome back to Close to Scratch. Today we have another fun episode playing at the Altadena Golf Course. You guys have never seen this course on the channel before. We are on hole numero uno. It's 304 to the pin. It's a par four, opening up things pretty light here. This course is a ton of fun. It's small. I was at the driving range beforehand, to be quite honest, trying to get a feel for what's going on with the, with the vibes today. And let me be honest, didn't hit this at all. Okay, not a great shot, but it did go straight. So we'll take it and we're off. So we ended up in the sand trap here, which is obviously not optimal, but it's really not that bad of a lie. We're gonna pull out the old push and pee, push and pee wedge. Um, yeah, let's get up and over. It'll end up being like about 90 when we get closer. Our goal is to just get it up there. I found out recently that you're not allowed to ground your club when you're in the uh, the sand, which is a little weird. So if I touch it, it's technically a penalty, which I did not know. Okay, just absolutely topped it, but hey, we'll take that because the rollout is pretty friendly. We are currently sitting about 29 feet out. Got 54 in hand, just got to give it a nice little kick. No scoopy doopy, a little dukester. It's a good pitch. This is actually for par somehow, which we love the sight of. Um, just gotta get in there now, make it count. Here we are at hole number two. We got 335 to the pin. It's another par four. It's a great opportunity for, again, a little nice driver down the middle. I'm excited. In a couple videos, I'll probably do a what's in my bag thing where we go over what's in my bag, but my bag's still under construction. Uh, a couple things that I'm currently working on, trying to figure out what I want to do with it, which is kind of exciting. Should be a nice day out today. It's all about nice, easy drives, staying positive, getting the balls out there. Don't need to muscle these in. Courses are pretty short, shallow here. Got a lot of fairway to work with. That was not great. Gotta play where, where it lies though, sadly. This is about as rough as, as a lie as you can possibly get. The goal is just to get it out of here and play forward. Uh, just the goal for this hole is now gonna be to double bogey or better. That's the thing, when shit doesn't go your way, gotta have realistic outcomes and gotta, gotta work for adjusted goals. Okay, we ended up right, it is what it is. At least we got it up. Ooh, that's what she said. So we ended up under the tree there, so I'm just gonna kick it two club lengths away, cause that's just, I'm gonna break a club and like, why do I need to break a club right now? Pretty solid little bump and run. We actually have a pretty good amount of green to work with here on this side. So it's just about getting it up there, cleaning up the club, let's do it. We're on the green. Um, we're gonna end up here with a little bit of a tricky putt for bogey. I'm actually pretty satisfied with uh, the outcome because I didn't take a, a mulligan, which you'll see on this channel. I'm gonna do my very best to almost never take a mulligan with the bet and everything. I've got to honor the handicap and just stay true to it. So I don't wanna make up the incorrect handicap. And uh, to my coaches, we gotta know what we're doing here. So. I'm seeing a little bit of right to left. It's not too much. Feeling pretty confident that I can just aim for the outer right cup here. So it's gonna need a little bit of gasoline. Feels like, uh, just give myself a layup for the second shot and that's what matters if I need it. Less than a club length. 
Okay. Double bogey. I'm happy. We said it. We said we wanted to be double bogey and we were able to complete it after a horrific tee shot. We will definitely take it. Okay. All right. So we'll definitely live with that shot there. Looks like it went fairly straight. Stephanie could show you. We've had a little bit of rain here in LA. Depending on how these videos continue to do, I think we're gonna be able to use this opportunity to probably get to play on some private courses. So hopefully be in, be in tune for that. Absolutely topped the living shit out of that ball. That was not a great shot. We are absolutely scalping pee is what we're doing right now. Earlier at the driving range, it didn't feel pure. That shot was obviously whatever the opposite of pure is. It was anti-pure. I don't know what the proper word is. 40 in. Going to use the 54 once again and keep it easy because that's how we do it. Easy breezy cover. You know what I'm saying? Come on, go. All right, we're dancing. We were a centimeter away from the green, so we are technically not dancing, which means this putt be a little tougher than it needs to be. But right now it's about getting it in the hole. I see a pretty easy straight putt. Honestly, all you can do is give it a good shot and hope that this ridge doesn't get it popping off in any weird angles. Honestly, a little disappointing on that one. Won't lie to you. Easy breezy cover, girl. Through three holes, we are plus four. The irons is was the irons are not working out today, as you guys can see it. It's super backed up up there. There's like three different groups on the same thingamabobber not great this is pretty bad honestly nonetheless we're teed up ready to go seems like we got a shot now this is hold number four par five 430 425 ish to the pin doing something a little different on this drive probably dangerous but hey we're all about the danger aren't we that was straight not that far but pretty straight we got our three hybrid we ended up hitting that drive 170 dead straight granted but uh, not that far. In the middle of the fairway, it is a par five. So if I can get this even remotely near 180 yards with this three wood, which you'd be asking, how does a three wood go 180 and your driver go 180? That doesn't make sense. You'd be right. It doesn't make sense. Wow, I striped that. Nice. We're gonna have like maybe 35 yards to the green and we can get up and over for birdie what this grape will give me a birdie putt i feel it 181 i literally said it if i can get anywhere around 180 i beat the distance of my drive off the floor with a three iron we need help obviously but anyways the point being we have 68 to the pin we got to just get it up there i'm gonna get it give it a I think I'm gonna go 54 and just put a little more gas in it. I've been really holding back on these. All right, let's get it up there. Let's make a play. Let's make a play on this ball. Get there, sit. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a genuine putt at birdie. I really don't see much as it pertains to movement. I see a little bit of left to right nearing the end of the hole. So it's gonna be all about getting ourselves a good line and a good opportunity at this putt. <sighs> hey, not gonna kill myself for it. I'm really happy with that, honestly. Ended up getting par on a spot that we had opportunity for birdie. That was kind of cool, but uh, hey, we'll take par. That doesn't add anything to the scorecard. Through four, four over. Now we're getting, now, now we're dancing. Skyed and it went left, but it'll be in play. 
Wow, that's gonna work out okay. Don't get me I think it, oh, I saw it come down. Okay, fill your divots. Please tell me there's divot filler. I mean, how am I gonna fill my divot if you don't give me divot fillers and they're all empty? Guys, come on. Wow, I hit that pure. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, get in the hole. I was short. Oh. 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 We're about 50, what is this? Like 20 yards from the pin or so? 15, 20 yards from the pin. I have 50 in hand. I'm considering a little bump and runner. Oh, slow down, slow down little buddy. Just hit it a little too hard, too much too much club for me there. If we had a 54, that might've been better. It would've had a better opportunity to get up and down. There is so much junk in front of my ball, it's crazy. Let's get it up and over and let's make it count. Ooh, that's a good putt. Nice putt there. It's either we got double bogey or single bogey there. I, like I said, it was 450, so I think it's a par five, but either way, I think we're plus six through five or plus five through five, which either one of those numbers won't kill me. I'm okay with it. Hole number six, par three, 160 to the pin, got six iron in hand. Just wanna get the ball up there, make some good contact and call it a day. I fucking rocket ship that. We are somewhere on the left. I don't know how far I hit that, but it felt pretty far. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Ended up hitting it 160, and it was really not that bad of a shot. If I don't end up on the green, seems like this is a good spot to end up at. Wow, that was like the biggest weenie shot of my life. Is the ball gonna go left to right or right to left? What do you see? Or straight? All right, I'm gonna go with your read, Worm. Stephanie gave me the read. Left to right. I'm gonna trust that read. Sit, 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 sit. Give me an easy putt. Give me an easy putt, putt little baby. Look, I even had the ball lined up for the next putt. Don't even have to touch the thing. <laughs> Wow. Ended up with double bogey in a spot that we just did not need to. That one's painful, I'm not gonna lie. Ping, G433 iron. Definitely drivable. 287 to the pin from the whites. It's drivable, like I said, but the driver has not been going that far today. And if it's not dialed in, you don't even have to overextend it. We're gonna go for it. I think I can get over 200 off a of tee with, with the old three, three hybrid. That sucked ass. Sizing down to a little four dinger, four hybrid. After a bad tee shot, it's all about recovery mode. Getting the ball up there. We're gonna get on the green somehow, right? That's a good shot. Please don't get in the bunker. We're not in the bunker, but it's not much better We're on the lip there. And that's a pretty, pretty decent shot. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So I'm just gonna aim for left of cup and just, this slope has me a little worried, but I feel really good about this shot right now. I'm gonna sink this for a single bogey and be clutch because I got the clutch team, baby. Wow, that was left to right way more than I thought. So after a pretty horrific tee shot and instead of cheating the system and just going again. I just committed to it. Um, let's see where we're at scoreboard wise. Plus 10, plus 10. 
I'd like to end up under single digits somehow, but a realistic goal here is to be around plus 12 at the end of the round. Fatted the dog piss out of that. Here we are after an absolute chunker mcdunker hit that about 110 not great but hey 67 to the pin got to get up and over for par got right under that and it's not going to carry the green <sighs> hey but i'm happy with that shot we got under it if we played down on the ball a little more probably would have got a little further but so we did <laughs> stephanie is a hero i mean you guys can't see, I wish, next time around, we gotta get a GoPro on one of these things. I have like 50 GoPros, I should use them, right? It's hysterical. Like, I'm the worst driver with the golf cart. So I'm just trying to move. And Stephanie's just dangling on by a hand. If you can see her hand. <laughs> just barely keeping it together. But, uh, just gonna hit this little baby. I pulled my, what did that just hit? What? I really need to hit this putt, ladies and gentlemen. Hit the fucking ball, man. Oh, that sucks. It's just like love tapping these balls. Double bogey again, that sucks. To just not even give myself a chance is, it's annoying. I gotta be better than that. And I know that, so just gotta be better. I love waking up early. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the last hole of today's video. If you guys like this type of content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let your friends know about this. We'll be giving away clubs, balls, gloves, tees, everything that you can think of on this channel. Maybe even one of these sick hats. I get that question a lot. Where do you get this sick hat from? I got it in Koreatown. That's honestly where I got it from. We got some folks in front of us, so I'm gonna talk to you guys a little more about the channel and the goal. As of today, we are about a little shy of two weeks into this, into this mission. We're not even 10% of the way there, right? And we're already seeing a huge drop in the score. Sure, today sucks, it doesn't look great, and obviously, if I plan to be a single digit handicap through nine at a, at a course that has the opportunity like this one, that's pretty easy. Probably got to be shooting like plus five to six or seven. That's the only way I'm going to win this bet is if I keep playing. I've been playing every single day of the week, doing my best to record most of these videos. It's really hard to record these videos, y'all, if you haven't noticed. I got Stephanie coming out here with me. I got David, who got a sun rash from coming out here with me and not putting on sunscreen. Mike, there's a lot of back and work, and I know you guys appreciate it and love it. So again, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about it. Also, if you guys haven't heard of Close to Broke, you know, check out the poker channel. Most of you guys probably came from there, but anyways, we're gonna let these lovely gentlemen hit in front of us, and then we've got ourselves a 250 yard driver bomb to get to. Really try to crank that one. It's gonna slice a little bit to the right, but dribbled off to the right there. But uh, hey, we're in the fairway, par five. You never know, anything can happen. Okay, it's a dribbler, not great, but we got out there. Try to hit it too hard and I absolutely shit on that ball. We have 64 to the pin. Got the 50 out, gonna give it a nice whack. I was a little short when I used a 54 in a similar shot earlier. So let's get it up there and let's let's make this one count. Let's get past the bunker. Nice, we're on the green, we're dancing. Nice shot there. We are sitting here with a chance of par after a couple of really bad shots. Feels like a pretty tough shot here, but it's very makeable. Ooh, slow down. Ooh. Now we left ourselves a pretty tough bogey putt now. Nice. 
Nice. Good put there to clean it up. That is going to close our day out. We'll show you guys the final score here, the final tally. Hitting six there, really not that bad. Ended up plus 49, so we broke 50 there. Uh, plus 13 on the day. Plus 13, Should probably get off the green for these folks. That leaves us at like somewhere around plus 26, which again, we're trying to get under like plus 25. Not a bad day out here. A couple of errant shots, obviously, that were uh, not where we wanted them to be. I think realistically, we probably only left maybe three strokes, four strokes out there, which all that being said is really not that bad. I'm not gonna beat myself up for it. A big thank you to Stephanie for coming out and helping out. A big thank you to this shirt that she bought me to make me look like an absolute Oompa Loompa or like that uh, girl, what is her name? In the Willy Wonka show? When she eats the blueberry thing, turns into Oompa Loompa. So, but anyways, really fun day. Again, thank you to everyone that came out and helped out. Finish off the day plus 13, broke 50. That's probably reasonably positive. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a lovely day. Stabby's telling you more importantly, we're going to get the, uh, the green. Close to scratch out. Hey.